I have a sketch that I have sort of pre-staged here. You can see it looks a little janky. We'll get to fixing it here in just a minute. But essentially what we're going to do is, is we're going to come in and, and define this. And we're going to use the diameter dimension to, to sort of help control our, the overall diameter of this hub shape. So I'm going to start by editing this sketch. You're going to see that it is underdefined. Fine, I'm going to come back and fully define it here in just a minute. There are a few dimensions that, that we can go ahead and place on there. Um, a couple of those that I know, and this isn't, you know, your, your typical diameter dimension, but a few of those that I know is this needs to be 16. And I know that overall I want this to be 45 high. So these are just simple dimensions and not really the diameter dimension I'm looking for. But we'll come back and fix that here in just a second. Let's see, let me get just a couple more. Get this. Like that ten. Perfect. All right. So the diameter dimension comes into play uh, whenever we're going to revolve um, certain sketch entities. In this case, this is going to be the hub of that hand wheel. So I want to revolve it around this center line. Now, in order to place the diameter dimension, our first click is really up to us. In this case, I'm going to pick this endpoint for this line, and my second click, however, has to be the center line. As I click the center line, you can see we could place a standard dimension just like you would you'd predict, but since our second click was that center line, if I hover out to the right, SOLIDWORKS lets me add that as a diameter dimension. All right? So if we're used to maybe changing things uh, on the fly, say outside of the, uh, the SOLIDWORKS realm, SOLIDWORKS will let us add that. You can see it made that kind of funky. We can fix that um, by adding in some of the appropriate relations. Um, we'll come back. We'll fully define some stuff as we get into this. Uh, let's go ahead and utilize this now. Uh, so I'm going to come in and just create a simple Revolve Boss Base. All right, so this is going to be my hub, um, and we'll use it for that. Now we'll add another one real quick, right, because we need a rim for this hand wheel. And so we'll add a, a simple diameter dimension onto this hub uh, at the same time. All right, so I'll go ahead and change this to, to something a little more appropriate for what I want and start to lock it down. Now, my last dimension that I'm going to add here is going to be that diameter dimension. And as I mentioned before, it has to be to a center line. So you're going to see me draw a center line right up somewhere arbitrary, right? It doesn't really matter as far as the, the height of that. Um, and again, for this diameter dimension, in this case, if I want to fully define what's going to be my rim, right, I can select the center point of that, my second click being that center line. Again, depending on where I place it, SOLIDWORKS lets me add that as a diameter dimension. Right. Um, of course, if we revolve this as well, uh, we end up with a rim and a hub. 